So you might work at one of the big four firms already, or you might be thinking about joining one of these big four firms in the future, and you might already have one eye on what the exit opportunities are when you eventually do leave the big four firm. These exit opportunities will vary according to which department you work in. And in this video, I'm gonna talk about what exit opportunities you might face if you work in the audit, tax, or the M&A team. I've been working at a big four firm for over six years now, and as you can imagine, I've seen a lot of people join and leave the firm. And it's really interesting to see what kind of career opportunities lie ahead of you when you do leave one of these big professional services firms. So you, you talked about investment bank. Uh, can you tell us a bit more about the exit opportunities? What are the most popular and what are the most, uh, let's say, um, the most wanted as a, as a person coming out of the, of the big four? Uh, I'll, I'll go into sort of different yeah. teams. So uh, audit, for example, you have different exit opportunities in front of you if you come out of audit and tax and then in m &A. So let me start with audit first. So. As I said before, when you do audit, you get a good uh, sort of foundation of accounting knowledge. And so you see a lot of people that have this audit background then move into industry. Uh, and so when you move into industry, when I, when I say industry, I mean you work for a corporation uh, in the finance team. So you'll, you'll work in um, as a financial controller, for example, uh, or you might work in a particular sort of uh, uh, team within the finance team that might be looking at just accounts receivable or accounts payable if it's a very large company and that might be the case um, so you work within the finance team and you're helping prepare the management management accounts and so when you're an auditor you've got a good understanding of how management accounts are prepared and then how that sort of translates into the strat statutory accounts um, so you understand adjustments and all the, all these kind of things um, so that's a very common exit path for people that have done, done audit working in the corporation, working in the finance team, uh, helping them to prepare management accounts. Then you also have FPNA, which stands for financial planning and analysis. Uh, so this is using the management accounts and using financial data within the corporation to help to help the decision making process. So I think that's a really interesting uh, element or interesting team within the corporation as well. Uh, and then again, um, in order to, you, you might then transition into corporate finance, you might transition into due diligence in, into M&A sometimes, uh, but more likely you, you go straight into due diligence. So those are probably the most common uh, elements uh, or the co most common exit opportunities uh, in tax. Uh, in tax, I suppose what's unique is you are fairly sort of restricted after you build up certain technical knowledge, you generally don't or away from tax because you build, you spend a lot of time developing that technical knowledge um you yeah you, you you might go and work in another tax advisory firm you might go and work for another big four uh or sometimes you know, i've even heard of people working for the tax regulator as well so um you normally generally stand, tend to stick to um the tax sort of uh, tax uh route or tax field um then when it comes to m a uh, exit opportunities a lot of individuals uh, move across to boutique investment banks after they work with big four they might they might go and work for another big four in the m a team so just work at a competitor um and then yeah you do you do get some people that go and work in um uh sort of corporations work in uh, sort of M internal m a so corporate development uh so this is uh, a small team within a corporation that does uh, M and A sort of from within in, within the corporation itself. So they are basically M and A advisors within the company. Uh, you'll find this in sort of large listed companies generally have um, sort of corporate dev teams, but these teams aren't very big, so these opportunities don't come along too often. Uh, but you've got you've got the right skills to uh, to do the, do these roles, and then private equity is another one. Uh, a lot of people. Um, do want to work in private equity uh, after they've done their sort of stint at, uh, stint at a big four m a but there are a lot of people it's a very competitive uh, sort of process getting into a private equity role whether you come in as an asso associate as a vp or some for, for example because again you've got people from big four that have done m a you've got boot people that have people that are at boutique investment banks um, that again have the same skills and you've got people from the bottom bracket that might be looking to get into private equity as well. So it's a very competitive process. But then, then again, I think 
uh, I suppose the way you do it is you work with these private, private equity firms as clients and then you build those relationships and then once they get uh, their trust in you and they understand that you've got the right technical skills and that you can deliver transactions and that's when you when you have the best opportunity to transition transition across from uh, the sell side to private equity.